What's up, YouTube? So, last video you saw, just catching up on my life, I'm about to show you my shoulder workout. Mm, look at that. Look at that chest split. Man. I'm about to show you my shoulder workout, and then I'm going to do some cardio, and then I'm going to explain more about prep and stuff, but welcome to my channel, and thanks for tuning in. There's Gus. Gus, Gus. Gus. There's Gus. There's flowers from my cute boyfriend. Okay, bye guys. See you at the gym. guys i hope you enjoyed that workout i know i did if you ever have any questions about a certain exercise how to perform an exercise about my training split you can always leave it in the comments below comment on my instagram message me on snapchat whatever you gotta do um but also know that there's not just one way to do every exercise um there's People have different goals and there are wrong ways to do exercises, but there's also multiple right ways depending on what your goal is or depending on what your um, split is, your training schedule is for that day. Sometimes I lean forward more in an exercise or do lighter weight, yada yada. If you have more questions about that, leave them below. Right now, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, get some chicken and some cilantro and go home and make some homemade chipotle. 
air quotes. Can't do it with just one finger. All right, see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so here's that Chipotle-ish bowl. Here's Gus <laughs> that I was talking about earlier. There's 67 grams of basmante rice, however you pronounce it. Um, and then I added cilantro and lime because it makes it a one. Um, there's some of this in there instead of sour cream, life hack. This tastes just like sour cream, well, at least to me. I don't know, put it in there. If you want it more like Chipotle, you can either water it down and like stir it up or you can, I leave this like, I use it for this. So I just like leave it open in my fridge or you can also like add milk and like thin it up. Um, there's some sweet corn in there. There's also like cilantro. I store this like you make it from Chipotle. And then with a side of Quest chips, these are protein chips and it's only a fourth of a serving. Also in here are lots of bell peppers and then four ounces of chicken and I saute the I saute the bell peppers until they're like starting to get clear. I like love bell peppers. Um the yellow ones are my favorite. I use whatever I have in my fridge so honestly I saute them just with like spray. Keep adding more spray and then like fajita sauce. You know at the store it's like three carbs for like the whole thing. Um I put some of that in there and then throw the chicken in, the chicken's cold, uh, warm it up and mix it all together and eat it and it's delicious and I'm about to nom on this because I was just stuck in traffic for forever and it is now 3.43 and it's my second meal of the day. Oh, while I'm talking about it, um, fasted, I'll talk more about this in a second, but I did fast cardio this morning and then ate my breakfast. The reason I do stuff fasted, I normally don't train fasted unless it's upper body and it's when I have to do fast cardio. When I'm not on prep, I probably won't do anything fasted. The reason I do it, and this is only my reason, is to prolong the time I eat in the morning. So I don't know how it is with your guys' metabolisms, whatever, but like it's easier for me to like not eat in the morning and I can last longer than if I like eat and then try to like wait six hours to eat again. I don't know, I know some people get like really nauseous in the morning and it's hard for them to do that. But like for me, if I like wake up and do something and like, it can't be like for forever, but I can like wait until like 11.30 to eat. And that's way better than me eating at eight because then I'm just starving the rest of the day. Like once I'm fed, then I'm just a monster and I can't stop eating. So I try to wait until later in the morning to eat just so that my last meal is not at five o'clock. Like I wanna eat right before I go to bed because trying to fall asleep while you're starving is the worst. So that's why I do stuff fasted. I didn't train fasted. I did my cardio fasted. I ate breakfast and then I went and trained and now I'm eating more. And that just means I got three more meals to eat today and I can eat them whenever I want and I don't have to worry about being hungry. So those are my two cents about it. I can talk more about it if you want. Okay, bye, I'm gonna eat this. Okay, things you need for this flatbread. One of these flat out, the macros are real good. It's, I don't know if you can see this, 1.5 fat, 14 carb, and nine protein. And it has a ton of fiber, eight fiber. Okay, it's not a ton, but it kinda is. These are great, I use them in making like burritos too and they're really good and they're big and if you cut them the right way they seem even bigger some cheese i'm using this because i have lower fats today i use mexican cheese with higher fats salsa some sort of salsa but you should get this salsa because it rocks jack's salsa it's over where like the hummus and like fresh made stuff and kroger is and this which is delicious amazing it tastes like uh and tacos when you get that like packet of stuff like that's this color that's what it tastes like it's so good and then just putting some taco sauce hot sauce on it zero calorie zero carb zero fat zero protein and then you also need meat and i just cooked mine 99 percent fat free turkey set your oven to boil low and i'll just show you
All right guys, I am back from the gym. It was a good session in the sense that I left everything on the table. It wasn't so great in the fact that I was so low energy throughout the whole thing. But I got it done and I'm proud of myself. Came home, ate some food, and I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second about what a bikini competition is, why I chose to compete, and all that jazz. So this isn't a super common thing unless you're like all, it's just not a super common thing. So I'm a part of MPC, which is National Physique Committee and bikini competition. Um, sometimes they have more than like just the bikini, but it's focused on like your muscle definition and your size and all that. So they really focus on your shoulders, your hams and your glutes. Um, they focus on your whole, bo your body as a whole and your proportions and all that but it's a fitness competition where you're getting judged on your body. So a lot of people might be like, why would you put yourself through everything that you're putting yourself through for just to be judged in front of everyone? But like bikini competing and all this is not just for the placing. Like I obviously care if I place, it's gonna like play a role in how I feel, but in the end, the reason I decided to do it is because I wanted to see how far I could push myself. So I have been lifting for a few years. I've always done school sports and always had to lift for those sports. I came to college and two years ago and because I wasn't doing sports, me and my friend Mary Faye went to the gym all the time, but my diet was still crap. And then last year I decided to actually do something. So I got into fitness, however you want to define that. And um, I thought for a while about doing a bikini competition. And I would say to go check out Amanda Bucci's, I'm going to link the exact video I'm talking about in the description box. She talks about at the end about her competing and why she chose to compete. I didn't choose to be compete because I wasn't comfortable in my body. That's the reason I started lifting more, but I'm before my competition, I was very comfortable in my body. I made sure that it wasn't just like, oh, when I get to a certain weight, then I'll be happy. That is not what this is about. It's about pushing myself, seeing how hard I can go, being dedicated to something, having a purpose and a push to do something. And Amanda just like sums it all the way up. So go watch her video. But my two cents on it is that I want to see what my body can do. I'm I spent a while building up my body and now I'm shredding the fat from it to leave behind and see the muscles that I've built. And that's why girls that do bikini competitions have off seasons because so they want to grow their muscles. They put on fat and muscle and then they shred back down to step on stage. And if this isn't something you're passionate about or something that sounds interesting at all, then you don't have to do it. A bikini competition isn't the next step in fitness. It isn't okay, I've done this, now I have to compete to like be fitness or be fit. It's, there are plenty of fitness fitspos on the internet who don't compete. Um, I just chose to and it was something I really want to do. Now reasoning behind, a little more reasoning because people have been, we've had catter days, which are game days for football. I'm in college and I don't drink on my prep diet and my diet is very particular. And people are like, why are you even doing this? Like, why don't you just wait to do it? Why are you, why? And again, it's because I want to see what my body can do. I'm proud of the body that I've built. And I'm excited to see like where I can go from here. It's my personal choice. It's a selfish choice to do prep. And I'm very, very, I know that. I know that it's very selfish to do it. I'm spending more time alone. I'm spending less time with friends. I'm not letting go as much. I have to have the control in my life. And I guess it's about pushing myself. I have been so lukewarm about so many things in my life, about my major, which I'm very lukewarm about. I don't like my major. I guess I just don't like it. I'm not lukewarm about it. Um, but this is something I'm passionate about and something I wanted to pursue. And in the end, 16 weeks of my life is nothing. 
like 16 weeks of having to do less is nothing like in the grand scheme of thing things 16 weeks isn't gonna make or break if I don't ha get to go to a party for 16 weeks or I don't get to go eat Chipotle for 16 weeks sucks but this is something I decided to do something I want to do I guess what my reasoning behind talking about this was first to just tell you guys what a bikini competition is, tell you my reasoning behind doing it, and why it's worth it all to me. So if I don't place, obviously gonna suck, but it's about what I bring to the stage, what I can accomplish, and what I can do as a person. And because you don't compete doesn't make you any less of a person, because I am competing doesn't make me any more of a person. It's a personal choice. I wanted to do this. I wanted to see what I could do. So, any questions, leave them below. If not, then I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna um, review my meal prep bag and um, talk about prep in college. Thanks guys, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.